Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for uh, voila. This is Michael Buckoff from BetterTofelScores.com. Uh, thank you for making a comment at my blog. So uh, let's take a look at your email, and then I will answer your question as best I can. So you say, hello, Michael. I hope this message finds well. It was a last-minute decision. I will take my IBT exam after three days, and I'm just trying my luck as I didn't have enough time to prepare for this exam. I need to get a score of 80, so what tips can I use to get this score? My level of English is intermediate level. Your reply is highly appreciated. Voila. All right. Yeah, I can help you out a little bit here. So first of all, if your score is intermediate level, it might not be a good idea to take the TOEFL at this point. Uh, I usually don't recommend any of my students to take the TOEFL test until they have advanced English proficiency. It, let me give you a, kind of a comparison so you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so you say to me, Michael, I want to learn algebra. But then you say, well, I don't understand basic mathematics, addition and subtraction. I'm going to say you probably need to focus on the addition and subtraction first and make sure you understand that. And then later on, you can study algebra, a more complicated form of mathematics, right? So at the intermediate level, you really do. You need to focus a lot on building your vocabulary proficiency. You need to focus on your pronunciation, your intelligibility, your basic grammar skills, your reading proficiency, just some of the basic, basic ideas to kind of get your English uh, at a, a fairly strong you need a strong foundation of your basic English first, and then you focus a lot on your TOEFL IBT uh, test taking strategies and such. So, what tips? Um, I'm, I'm going to include a video uh, from a TOEFL student I interviewed uh, a, few, a few months ago, and her score is 109 out of 120. And during the interview, I asked her some questions about when she took the test, before she took the test, to get some ideas about how she got the score that she did. So I think this video will give you some tips on what you need to do in order to get a high TOEFL IBT score. So that'll kind of be the basic, I think, answer. I can't really answer your question specifically, but just generally, tips. You have the um, reading section first. You know, obviously, don't spend too much time reading the passages. Focus a lot on answering the different questions. And uh, try to relax as much, as much as you can. And then go to the uh, listening section. Again, try to relax. Do the best you can. Answer the questions. Uh, I would encourage you to note take on both the reading and the listening sections of the test. It helps you be active in your reading and your listening uh, areas. And then you get to the speaking section, the most difficult part of the test. Remember that you have six different speaking tasks, and you definitely want to make sure you have some templates. A template is a outline of how you plan to answer, for example, speaking task one, speaking task two, three, four, five, and six. So when you, you actually take the test, make sure that you follow the outlines that you've already studied. So when you're doing the TOEFL speaking, you're not thinking about how to organize your response. You're simply taking the outline that you already memorized and you're taking the content from, let's say, the reading or the listening passage and you're putting it into that outline. So you need to be organized during those speaking tasks. Again, I would encourage you to take notes, especially as you read and you listen to the passages and with speaking task number three, four, five, and six, make sure you understand the most important points from the reading and the listening passage. And with speaking task four, you need to show how the information in the listening is related to the information in the reading. So it is important to be organized. And uh, remember that during the speaking section, you'll be evaluated on the completeness and on the organization of your response. So you don't want to leave out any important information. Also, you want to have good grammar, uh, good vocabulary, good pronunciation, and make sure you directly answer whatever the question is that you're given. 
All right, those would be some basic kind of quick tips right now. Now, with the writing section, uh, the independent writing task, you're looking to write approximately 350 words. So make sure you have a good introduction. Your introduction should be approximately 50 to 150 words. Make sure you have a thesis at the end of your introduction. And then you have some body paragraphs which develop some of the key points of your thesis. So that would be some of my suggestions there. Again, make sure, voila, that you answer the question. A lot of students, believe it or not, they, they do the independent writing task. And for whatever reason, they simply do not answer the question. And then they end up with a really low score. So you'll have 30 minutes to do the writing. So that should give you plenty of time to develop a organized response to whatever the writing task is. Finally, you get into the integrated writing task of the TOEFL IBT. So in this case, you'll read a passage, you listen to a lecture, and in many cases, the information in the lecture, it disagrees with the information in the reading passage. And you want to make sure you show what that disagreement is. Sometimes it's pretty common, the reading passage will state like maybe three main points about a topic. And maybe the information in the lecture, it will disagree with each of those points one by one. So then you have to figure out what is the best way that you can structure your essay so you can show what that relationship is. So a lot of students will include an introduction that basically states the topic of the reading and the topic of the listening. And they try to show, in a brief way, what the relationship is. Then maybe you'll have a body paragraph, maybe one or two paragraphs, in which case you'll state the main points of the reading, and then you'll show how the information in the listening either agrees, supports, or disagrees with each of those points. So it's also good on both tasks of the writing section to have transition words. If you think there's a difference, you might use words like on the other hand, in contrast, or but, uh, nevertheless, if you think that some information is stating a result of some cause, you might use words like thus, as a result, consequently, or therefore. So you definitely, in the writing section, it, this is also good advice for the speaking, is make sure you have tra good transition words that help show how your ideas are, are related to each other. So that's very, very important. So there's really not a lot you can do, you know, three days until you take the test, but hopefully you have good vocabulary. You've been studying vocabulary for a while. You have college level vocabulary and those kinds of things. Now, if you don't get your desired score, which is 80, and you're unhappy with that, if you're interested in taking some TOEFL classes online and uh, you know subscribing maybe to my seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, uh, I would be more than happy to help you. So remember that once you take the test, if you don't score so high, remember your results. The uh, ETS will actually send you your results. And if you like, you can email them to me and I'll do some analysis of your results. And I can tell you which areas of my seven step system you need to focus on the most. Does that make sense? So maybe later on down the line, you might want to be one of my students. I'll be more than happy to teach you uh, the seven steps to pass the TOEFL test. And remember, when you get to step number six and seven, which is my writing and speaking st uh, steps, you can also take my practice test and I will score. Actually, I will read or listen. I'll evaluate and I will score your speaking and writing practice test using the exact IBT rubrics that ETS uses to score those tasks. So I can help you understand what types of problems you're having and what you need to do to overcome those problems. And I can give you specific lessons that can help you improve in those areas. Remember that my seven step system, I have over 100 and 60 TOEFL lessons and practice tests, all designed to help you get better. So if you have enough time, you know, maybe 30 
maybe 30 days or longer, uh, that should give you enough time to go through my materials and improve your overall academic English proficiency and also therefore improve your TOEFL score. Alrighty, well good luck to you.